Chris, thanks for seeing us today at TDT Technologies. This machine is a Force One machine. There's plenty of options for me as a buyer for turning centers of this nature in the market. I want to explore why I might choose this one. Well, before, when we were looking at turning center suppliers, we did quite a lot of homework, a lot of research, and Force One came up as one of the, let's say, one of the highest quality manufacturers from Taiwan. And one of the things that we found since we've been working with Force One is that the machines have got high quality, they've got proprietary component parts, electronics and so on, and they are really, really open to doing uh, turnkey solutions for customers as well. Now, some of the things I've looked at already about this machine, I'm quite surprised that there wasn't already a UK distributor or agent for this product. They did actually work with some other suppliers years ago and there are quite a number of Force One machines in the UK, albeit not in great numbers, but I think it's because they've never really looked to Europe until recently seriously. Okay, so let's talk about that quality. Let's talk about the machine. T mm -hmm. Tell me what the, the size of the machine is and uh, yeah, the capacity. The FCL have a range of machines, but this particular one, the 15TS, is a twin spindle machine, TS. It's a 45 millimeter bar capacity machine. It's got the turret with 12 live stations and both spindles on this particular one have got C-axis, so full contouring capability. And on each spindle, we've got identical power. So we've got seven and a half kilowatt power on both spindles. So they're equal, so this isn't a sub-spindle machine, essentially it's a twin spindle. No, on the bigger models, the sub-spindle is slightly less than the main spindle, but on this particular model, it's equal. I look and see a lot of this type of machine, um, twin turret and single turret, with the 65 mil bar option, or maybe even the 76 mil bar mm -hmm. option. This is coming the other way, so the, is there a big market for this size? Well, it, it's one of the ranges, this, so 45 millimeter bar capacity on this one, but we do go up to 77 millimeters bar capacity. So we cover quite a wider range than the machine that you see here. So the, although we're focusing on this particular model today, yeah. there is plenty more scope for bigger machines as well. Yeah. I, what, I, what I have seen here is your turret on this machine, which is, is a BMT turret, mm -hmm. it's, it's quite small. Does that affect the rigidity or the machining performance? No, it doesn't. And what it actually does provide is a, a larger turning capacity than some, some machines of this size won't be able to achieve 250 millimetres diameter. Uh, and the working length at 260 as well is quite generous for a machine with a small footprint. So because of the, the nature of the turret being a little bit smaller in diameter does mean it opens up the working envelope? It does, yeah. And I mean, on 45 millimetre capacity bar, you don't need a huge turret. But this turret's, you know, it's a well-known brand, it's diplomatic, and it provides all the power that you need. 4,000 RPM on the driven tools, so there's not much you can't do with it. So you mentioned when we opened up this interview, Chris, about the build of the machine, the proprietary componentry. That's important when I'm looking for a machine tool. Tell me about that. Well, you'll find on Force One machines, all the components are proprietary components that people recognize. The ball screws are PCM, the linear rails, high wind, on this FCL range, we do another range of machines, of course, with uh, solid ways, but on these particular models, high wind, linear rails, and when you look in the electrical cabinet, it's Telemechanique, Omron, etc. Now, I was, thinking, um, I was thinking when we look at builds of machines, we're always after beefy castings, beefy box ways. Is that important when you've got a 45 mil bar capacity? Is this machine more about speed and agility? Exactly, Paul. The, the, these machines, are on linear rails for speed and uh, the, the rapid speeds on this machine are 30 meters a minute on the X and Z axis and on the B axis it's 20 meters a minute so your positioning moves are quite quick. Turning components on the main spindle on the sub spindle we said on this model it's a twin does that mean we've got a C axis on both? On both spindles yes so you can do full contouring on both spindles on this particular machine. And this turret is a 12 station turret? Yeah and all 12 stations are driven. And the control on this machine you've got here is the Fanuc OI? It's the Fanuc OI, but we also can offer other options if customers require. So Force One of Supplied Machines with Siemens Controls, that's a popular one for some companies, and uh, Hein Hein, and even Mitsubishi, but mainly in Asia I would suggest for Mitsubishi. Fanuc, without doubt, in this, in this country when you're looking at turning, has to be 
probably the, the, the most popular control. This machine looks like it's got some uh, elements to it which help you with production. Where I would go by saying that is you've obviously got a parts catcher and I'm assuming this is where the component would roll down. Yeah, that's the chute where the component rolls down. There's a catcher bin there. There is an option to put a parts conveyor on if people wish to load parts remotely away from the machine. And also, th th this particular one doesn't have the uh, tool setting arm on, but that's an option as well. And when you start looking towards producing volumes of components, you need a bar feed. Has this got an interface? It has, and it, well, it, the machine can be supplied with any make of bar feeder virtually. So uh, I think we'd, we'd always say LNS are our standard go to bar feeder, but we can supply other models. So, Chris, we come to the crunch now. We've got this machine, but we've got plenty of others we can buy. What's going what's to make me go for this machine? Well, I said earlier, Paul, we've done the research. We feel as though we've got a really high quality product. The machine that we're looking at before you ask is available ex stock. Don't ask me the price, but people are welcome to come and have a look at it. It's a really good price on this specification of machine. And we just feel that uh, Force One, although they've not really uh, attacked the UK market in the past years, they, they've got the really good products which we hope that we can promote successfully in the coming years. So you're going to get the, your teeth into the turning market. So there we have it. If you're looking for a turning centre, if you, if you need the production capability of a smaller machine, you could consider this machine from TDT Technologies, which is actually currently on special offer.